I'm Richard Rumelt, and I'm a professor at the Anderson School at UCLA. The wickedest problem of our time is productivity in service organizations. Um, in countries like the United States and Australia, we have moved from uh, production-oriented civilization to one that's primarily service. The growing sectors in the U.S., for example, are education, healthcare, government. And we're not very good at becoming more productive at this kind of work. It's stuck. And that's limiting our economic growth and our ability to become a, a wealthier society in the future. Tough solutions. Uh, primarily, we haven't done a very good job of the, the basic kinds of uh, productivity improvement methods that were used in manufacturing and services. We don't do a very good job of transferring best practices around. We don't do a very good job of benchmarking. I mean, if you look across countries, for example, and say, uh, how efficiently does one country uh, do police work or build bridges or any other governmental activity, we're pretty much in the dark about that. And so some of the simple lessons we learned about benchmarking and best practices can be applied in the service sector. Creating, creative innovation is, is uh, new ways of looking at things. It's, it's new ways of thinking about things, that coming at things in unexpected directions. Uh, it is the fount of innovation. Uh, I think that, you know, we have been innovative for 200 years. Uh, we've taken society from a bunch of poor peasants to middle class wealth through creative innovation. Um, I think that it can continue along those roads. I think the, the biggest barrier is simply the comfort that most people already have. That people are comfortable, and it isn't thinking of the idea that it's difficult. It's that comfortable people don't want to change. And they don't want to move from where they are to a new place because they're comfortable. The U.S. is still too comfortable to, to really change things. I don't see people marching in the street, other than a few hundred now and then. Uh, the, the financial crisis, it's easy to avert. Uh, you don't need a 2,000-page law to regulate financial institutions. You need a one-page law that says, don't lever up more than 15 times and don't loan more than 75% of the value of a home period. Uh, and so, but the way of doing things hasn't changed. Uh, our Congress is basically uh, a money allocating system. And so they create giant money allocating solutions to things rather than simple solutions. And, uh, in, unless there's a, enough pain is his history. It would be nice to say that, oh, people will come up with creative solutions from positions of comfort but we don't tackle these wicked problems, practically speaking, until there's enough sense of pain. Great leaders, what great leaders do is they take, they're able to move you even though there's not pain. They're able to say, we must do this. It is the right thing to do. It is the insightful thing to do. Uh, and, and, and great leaders are able to move people even though they're not under immediate attack. Uh, we're not having much of that lately.